I've been in this country now for must be uh, 20 years. Really? In one, in one form or another. Yes, I've been here for 20 years. Yeah. And what is it you love about Britain? <laughs> oh my goodness, what a question. <laughs> it's everything I love about Britain. I love it to the fullest. Mm. But uh, this is the country of Shakespeare. It's the country of Byron. Mm. It's the country of Keats. This is the country of Churchill. Tops of the Pops. Songs of Praise. Antique Richard. Mm. How can I not love this country? This is a glorious manifestation to me of yeah. humanity in action, and I praise it to the fullest. I mean, look around us, my friend. Look at that. What a magical manifestation, physically, of what is so lovely about this country. Eh? Yes. No, in no other country in the world can you have something like that. No other country as well in the world. There's one in China, and there's one in, one in Paris. Yeah, well, well, it's not quite as good as that, I'm telling you. Some other American the word bloke is classically British, and I've tracked down all round good bloke and loyal caller to my radio show, Chris Nibsy Nibs, the Nibster. Well, here I am down the pub with my old mate Christopher Nibs. Yeah, Chris Nibs, Chris Nibs. <laughs> Cheers, here's to cirrhosis of the lily. Ah, I'll drink to that. <laughs> mm. You know, this is, this is the archetype of British thing, isn't it, Gary? The local boozer. Yes. Had to come in, didn't he? Yeah. No, that, that'd be, really cares that much about democracy and uh, queer country and all that rubbish. It's it's the little things in life that make us British, isn't it? Yeah, like what, what kind of little things? You know what makes us British? Mm. Tea and biscuits. Yeah. Yeah. The British make the best the best biscuits in the world. Mm. We've got the ideal climate for it, you see. Mediterranean, those areas, it's too hot. There's never been a good a good biscuit from the Mediterranean no. area. If you go too far north, uh, it's too cold. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Gary. What? Why don't you come out and have a light towel with me tonight? I love light towel. Yeah? I love the light towel, Gary. I mean, when I say light towel, I don't actually mean light towel. No. I mean lager. Oh, mm. I don't know why I even say light towel. <laughs> I might have to be metal, but yeah, that one means a lager. Get, come out, but we'll get right on Oh, what? I'm a bit of a chair up. Do you, have, do, you have, do you always have a tear up on it when you go out to the pub? No, but it happens, doesn't it, girl? There's no point in saying it don't happen because it does happen. Come and meet my mate. So I'll show you the real men, you know, of Britain, right? The, the British man, wherever he is at his best, right? In the pub, drinking, right? If I come with you, though, you'll take the mickey out of me, you and your friends. Well, right? only a bit. We might do a little bit of banter. Go and take the piss out of each other. That's just the, the British way, isn't it? Come down there, right? We go to the pub, and you can see... The British man in the last place where the British man reigns supreme, doing what he does best, drinking. Although we are quite good cycling as well these days. Yeah. Martin Hall could perhaps be accused of not wanting to move with the times in an era when even our oldest institutions are having to modernise. Bring it in, mate, Martin. Colonel, you think. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit about the modern British Army? Well, the uh, distinguishing feature of the modern British Army is that it's, uh, well, it's British, obviously, it's an army, but primarily it, it, uh, it's modern. That's, uh, and that's yeah. the... As distinct to the, the old British Army. Which was, was old, then, wasn't it? No. Yeah. No, I mean, there's no doubt about it, the modern British Army is, is pretty pretty bloody modern. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Well, how is it modern? Well, a lot of the old ways have changed, I, I, I think, for better. It is a more, a more up-to-date, forward-looking organisation. We don't in, in any way intend to... Uh, We're not disparaging the, 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 the old British Army. The old British Army. But obviously, you know, don't, don't get us wrong, it is exactly the same organisation. Well, it's the British Army. I, my father served in the Army as well. His father, well, him, I come from an Army family, so uh, for me, the modern British Army actually is a seamless child of the old British Army. I hesitate to use the word liberal. Military context, but uh, we're generally invited yeah. in by uh, community, and we go there and we keep peace. Yeah, yes. we're, we're, yes. we're much, more, British Army. much more concerned with peace than we are with war. Even no. it's not British Army, yeah. unfortunately, yes. because I have to say that war was a lot more fun. The more pals used to come down here, it was like mud larks. We had a prey, we used to roll it up and down that beach, and we'd fit whoever we found mm. old bits of food, fruit children's toys, old tools, raggedy clothing. We found a dolphin once. Really? Johnny Eames thought it was a whale. My other pal, Ginger, he thought it was a shot. I knew it was a dolphin because I'd seen one yeah. in a book. Anyway, it was still alive. We didn't know what to do with it. He kept looking at me. I got the ump of it and I need you up to kill him. A lot of people look at me in the eye, you know. Yeah. 
So, there was a dolphin in there. A dolphin wanted me to, I didn't like the way it looked at me. Even now, whether it's a man, a woman, a frog or a bear, if it looks at me too long in the eye, I'll start to get very, 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 very edgy. Mm. And then we might have a few problems with the old red mist. So, I'll say that to you, if you could be a bit wary of staring me in the eye, you know? Okay. Or up, you might have a problem. Something you can do, of course, you can see, Bob. Think about it, you've got the digestive, you've got the chocolate digestive.